Hey, what's up guys, Theo here. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys a basic example of how to use JBuilder, uh, assuming we're just creating a very simple uh, user's API here. Uh, so I'm just gonna create a very simple Rails app. Let me just get out of this real quick. And um, I'm just gonna do, close these down real quick. I'm gonna do Rails new uh, JBuilder example. Um, I'm just going to skip test for now. Run that, and I'll sh show you guys how to do this. So basically, JBuilder is almost like a middleware that lets you uh, sort of intercept your uh, JSON that's coming back. And uh, I can show you guys how this works. So um, let me go into it, JBuilder example. Sorry. Um, cool. So we do gem install JBuilder. And there we go, cool. And then let me do right db create, create the database for us here. And I'll show you guys really quickly how to do this. And let me just do rails g resource user, we'll create a user resource and then I'll add on a few fields to that. Right db migrate, migrate the database to um, run it up on the migration, cool. And let me just show you guys the state of it right now. So let me open this up real quick. So let me close that down. And I can show you guys. So basically we have a little user's controller stubbed out, not much. We have a model, uh, but if we look at the database on the schema, there's really nothing on it, just the default fields. So let's add on a few fields here. We'll just do Rails G migration, uh, add columns, to the user, something like that. And then we'll just do it a name as a string. And um, and we'll do age as an integer. And let me make sure this works. So let me check out my migrate field at column user's name. So that's pretty good. Let me run this to migrate it. So let me go back, we'll do right db migrate. And there we go. So now our our schema has all these columns on it. And let's just build out a simple uh, route here in the controller. So we'll just do def uh, index and we'll just say users equals user dot all and then we'll do render JSON and we'll do users. Let me start up the Rails server for us real quick. Yeah, it's a very simple tutorial, just sort of getting us used to um, uh, JBuilder. So we go to users here. Let's run this. And what did I do wrong? I think I messed this up. Um, render JSON. Sorry. Let's run this again. Okay, cool. So we have no users. Um, so let me go and hit. Go ahead and make some real quick. So let me open up the Rails console real quick. And I will populate us with some users. Um, User.create. And I just want to create name Theo, age 24. And then we'll create a few more. Um, name John, age 25, something like that. And Xbox two given one. Look at this real quick. Seeds movie dot create. Oh, sorry, I need to give it an array. Okay, so change this real quick. And then this is Active Records, just a ORM. All right, there we go. And now if we look at User dot all. We see we have two users. Let me see. Let me have to count here. Yeah. Cool. Um, so now if we go back and refresh this, we should have some data populating there. So that's cool. Um, but what happens if we want to actually like see the JSON in here? If we don't want all these fields, right? Uh, so what we can do here is go ahead and inside of our uh, views, what we can do is go down to here, go down to users. And we can do one that's just um, index.json.jbuilder. 
and make sure that's correct. Okay, and now we can do um, we can do name equals we can do user. Uh, sorry, we can do user dot name json dot name. And let me make sure this is good. Let me make sure I got the right format real quick. Okay, JSON. It says show.json.builder. This should be index.json.geobuilder. And JSON.client. Okay. So let me change this out. This should actually be JSON.name is user.name. Turn this now. And users.json. Make sure messages show.json.builder. Index.json.jbuilder is. Make sure I have this correct. See if I'm missing something real quick. Let me make sure. All right. Okay, we got that, got that, got that. JSON index.json, json.products.do. Products. And uh, you got index.json tree builder. That should work. Let me see. Let me restart the server real quick. Okay. Right. JSON, and why is that not running? JSON products user user dot log db saved with db create I think I ran everything it shouldn't be JSON dot name remember JSON oh maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Okay, let me try this now. JSON product dot all. Here we go. Okay, so I don't think I needed to render undefined method name. And uh, oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so now I need to change this all to do. So now we have access to this. We can do users.each to user, and then we can put our end here, and we can say user.name, user.name. So this allows us basically to pluck off sort of specific fields. Here we go. We should be getting name back now once this loads. Come on. There we go. So now we're getting back the name of our users, users.each, make sure, json.products do products, okay, let me change this, users, products.do product, okay, cool, save that. There we go, got our users. And say we want to like pluck off different fields, right? We can grab the age, user.age, user.age, right? Or we can do like age divided by 100 or something, right? We could do, we just massage the data how we want. We could do end up reversed name equals user.name dot reverse. Something like that, right? And basically, we can just sort of 
sort of only expose the fields that we want, right? You know, something like that. Or we could just use, you know, something like that. Um, users.each, whatever. Uh, so you don't have to expose all the fields, right? We could do JSON dot extra data equals um, hand back extra data, something like that. Then we could actually just create a method in here called hand back extra data. And, you know, maybe this just returns I am extra data, you know, something like this, right? And this allows us to really keep our view clean. Let me make sure this actually works. This allows us to keep our view clean and, um, and, uh, why is it not calling it? Make sure let's call the function here. Some function Rails J Builder. Let's see. Um, hmm. All right, whatever. I'm still new to it, but um, you know, hand back extra data equals I am extra data. Whatever you want, um, and you can sort of see how this is useful because we're just sending back just what we need. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of using JBuilder and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a great day.